DMS arriving to room one. To anyone not wearing scrubs, the respiratory rate was 16. The hospital can be a pretty intimidating place. From the emergency department's nerve center, the corral, to the long, quiet hallways that lead to more procedures. The unfamiliarity of it all can bring more stress Doing okay. to an already unnerving predicament. But at Aurora West Atlas Medical Center, not all the hallways are so quiet. Just listen. Don't you go there. The thing about John Malera is that you often hear him before you actually see him. Please don't leave me, girl. It's impossible not to notice the bedside baritone, I don't mind weeping whose official title is imaging assistant, a job that requires him to wheel patients to and from procedures. Don't leave me. That's what he gets paid to do. The singing part, John throws that in for free. Baby, please don't leave me, girl. How are his pipes? Is he any good? Yeah, he's good. <laughs> That's why I told him, I said, see if he fires. He's good. He should be good. He did plenty of amateur theater, sang in his Navy boot camp chorus, and has a Spotify-worthy collection of classics stored in his brain. And you've had the contrast before, right? And when the time is just right, you know about the warm feeling, and the patient has been briefed on the business of the transport, and they will let you know before they start the contrast. The show begins. I see trees of green, red roses too. Covering the standards is tough enough, but doing it while moving and putting patient comfort top of mind? A couple of bumps along the way. Well, that's what makes these cart side concerts so endearing. Okay, we got a left turn coming up. Very nice. What does it do? Soothing. Soothing? That's what all I can say is soothing. Yeah. John's been on the other side of that gurney. I spent five days in a burn ward where I burned this part of my hand. I know how terrifying a hospital is. All of and once, while working in a I Pennsylvania hospital, he realized an impromptu lullaby was the I'm only thing he could do to soothe an agitated Left and potentially dangerous patient. He was requiring all hands on deck in uh, the emergency department, so all I could think of was, I can't let him hit anybody and we have to try to calm him down. So I held him by the wrists so he wouldn't be able to throw any more elbows. And I just started singing Brahms Lullaby with words that I was making up. Oh, the dancers may be on the floor. And thus, a bit was born. Yeah, but my eyes can that reinforces see that, yeah, this is something that I have to do every day. That I have to make sure that each patient has a little bit of a better experience because it is terrifying. The reviews are glowing. Letters to the hospital include thank yous like he melted my heart and just beautiful, brought tears to my eyes that someone would be so kind and thoughtful. Anything from Dean Martin. I turn to see he takes requests and yes, some requests that he just stay quiet. She was 78, sweetest old lady, and she told me, uh, she used the F word, she said, shut the F up. <laughs> <laughs> but even with a pounding pain in her head, watch how patient Janelle Thorson warms to the serenade. First smiling, then singing to this looking glass classic. He sang to you. Yeah. Well, did that help at all? A little. Made me smile. Randy. When you're in a lot of pain, when somebody's singing, or the cheerfulness makes you smile a little bit, takes your mind off the pain. You want them to concentrate on relaxing. Just get out of the moment for just a little bit. Ten seconds, if I can make one person smile, I've earned my paycheck. Lying here. One doctor no told me he welcomes John singing because a relaxed patient Jesus is an easier one to treat. And John hopes Slow. others are as open. Hold me closer, time to dance. I get to do what I do because I have such a great team backing me. Because I have a technologist who tolerates this. You know, because if I had people who didn't want to hear this and just wanted me to shut up, yes, that's the end of the ball game. Yes, I think to myself. The game's not over, John. You keep on singing, because that is making this a wonderful world. Oh, yeah.